The word calculus has many meanings. Dentists may say that a person having lots of calculus or calculi on his or her teeth will eventually get cavities, so this calculus has to be removed. In mathematics, calculus is that branch which has to do with problems like finding the volume of a solid, the area of a domain, or the speed and acceleration of a moving object. Calculus is a Latin word. In English it means a pebble. So one may wonder how come the word calculus, that is pebble, got this meaning which it now has in mathematics. Somehow it all started with Vitruvius. He was an engineer and architect born approximately 75 BC, died approximately 15 BC. And here in this picture, in this imaginary drawing, Vitruvius is shown on the right, explaining his work on architecture to the Emperor Augustus. So Vitruvius here was the first engineer to be known by his name. Wikipedia explains that the Roman engineer Vitruvius developed one of the first odometers consisting of a wheel of known circumference that dropped a pebble that is a calculus into a container on every rotation. The distance traveled was then computed by calculating the number of calculi, that is, the number of pebbles, fallen into that container. Vitruvius computed with Roman numerals. The Roman numerals are letters. So I means 1, V means 5, X means 10, L means 50, C means 100, D means 500, and M means 1000. So when thinking numbers in terms of these Roman numerals, then, for example, the number 2017 has to be thought of as being 1000 plus 1000 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. That is 2017. And then expressed in Roman numerals, this becomes MMXVII. Likewise, 409 expressed in Roman numerals becomes CCCCVIIII. It is clear that these Roman numerals lead to rather long expressions for numbers. So abbreviations were introduced. 400, which is originally CC, CC, can be abbreviated as CD when the symbol C for 100 is preceding the symbol D for 500. Then this CD means 500 minus 100, which is 400. Likewise, IX means 10 minus 1, which is 9. So 409 becomes CDIX. This is already a considerably shorter expression. Now think of the following problem. Within the system of Roman numerals, compute the expression of the fraction MDCVII minus XXIX and that difference divided by CCLXIII. So what is the value of this arithmetic expression? This is pretty complicated to compute if one has to deal with Roman numerals only. For this kind of computations, Roman, Romans use pebbles, that is calculi, plural for calculus, to aid computations. One could, of course, take simply MDCVII, number of small stones, that is pebbles or calculi, and then subtract XXIX stones of that pile of stones, and then divide this remaining pile of stones into CCLXIII small piles. Now computing the number of stones in each of these small piles, one gets the value of this arithmetic expression, but this is very tedious. Evaluating arithmetic expressions within the realm of Roman numerals was hard. Romans used abacus for computations. 
in a Roman abacus, pebbles were organized in slots, and depending on the slot where a pebble was, it had a different meaning. The word abacus comes from the Greek gentile form of abax, which means a calculating table. All these calculations in Europe became easier with Leonardo Pisano. He is more commonly known as Fibonacci. He was the son of a well-to-do merchant in Pisa, nowadays in Italy, and his father was considered to be a good man. So he earned the nickname Bonaccio, that's a good man. And his son, Filio di Bonaccio, was then called Fibonacci. So that's where the name Fibonacci comes for, for Leonardo Pisano, and everybody now calls him Fibonacci. In this photograph you see the statue of Fibonacci, which is in a museum next to the Cathedral of Pisa. Fibonacci traveled in Middle East together with his father, who had business dealings there. And he found out that Arabs were computing differently. They used Hindu-Arabic numerals, and these are the numbers we nowadays use in Europe. So Fibonacci introduced the Hindu-Arabic numerals to Europe in 1202. Here is a picture of the book called Liber Abaci, published in 1202, in which Fibonacci explains how these Arabs and uh, these Indians were performing computations. But it took a long time before these Hindu-Arabic numerals were adopted in Europe. So more than 300 years later, Gregor Rice, in the book Margarita Philosophica, published in 1508, shows two men performing computations. The one using an abacus on the right, and then there's the one using Hindu-Arabic numbers on the left. The person on the left seems more affluent and more happy and, and uh, more effective in his computations than the person using pebbles on the right. So it took several hundreds of years before the Hindu-Arabic numerals became commonly used. Roman numerals are still used to indicate, for example, Super Bowl games or lists or sections in various calculus courses, calculus 1, calculus 2, calculus 3, maybe written as calculus I, calculus II, or calculus III. The Roman numerals are used also in other occasions. So for practical computations, one uses, of course, the Hindu-Arabic numerals. Let me return to the arithmetic problem presented earlier in this video. Compute MDC VII minus XXIX and that difference divided by CCLXIII. Now, using these Roman numerals, this is pretty complicated. But if we convert this computation to our regular number system, we get that MDC VII is 1607 minus XXIX minus 29, and CCLXIII is 263. So we have to compute 1607 minus 29, and that difference divided by 263. A fourth grader can do this computation, and he or she gets 6. Therefore, we call, conclude that MDC VII minus XXIX divided by CCLXIII is just VI. But computing and getting this result within the Roman numerals is really very complicated, and Romans had to use pebbles, that is calculi, a plural for calculus, to aid computations. And this is where the word calculus got its mathematical meaning. So the original meaning of the word calculus is a pebble, a small stone. And it was used to aid computations in the antique Rome, and now it is used to mean field of mathematics related to various computations. 
this picture shows a, a computation typical for calculus and in this computation one wants to compute the area of the domain under the graph of parabola a task that was known already to Archimedes and he managed to compute this area. Calculus is also a term in dentistry. Calculus on teeth may lead to cavities.